Okay, time for a video blog. It's been a very long time since I've done one. I have been extremely, extremely, extremely sick. I have like a cyst or a tumor type thing on the back of my neck attached to my vertebrae and it got really bad. I thought I just had like a boil or an abscess on the back of my neck so I kind of let it go. It would go up and down, up and down the swelling and I just thought it was just something coming and going. Never thought nothing about it and then it got so bad a couple of weeks ago, I had to go to the hospital. I just I couldn't stand the pain. And they're like, well, we don't know what it is, blah, blah, blah. See your doctor in a couple of days. So I go see a doctor like five days later because it took them forever to get me in. And they get me in. And she literally, because I was so bad off, I couldn't even hardly drive. Josie had to drive me. She like drove me around everywhere that day. It was awesome of her. And then I had to go to work, which sucked. But uh, the doctor kind of looked at it. She just looked at it, kind of laid her hand on it, and goes, oh my God, uh, yeah, I got to get somebody else. I'm thinking, wow. Thanks. Yeah, now I'm nervous. And the guy comes in, he looks at it, and he's like, well, you're going to need surgery. He goes, this is blah, 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 blah. You know, I had to go in, I had to get uh, some x-rays, some ultrasound things done on it, a bunch of blood work just been ridiculous. I've spent so much money, missed work, spent tons of money. I've tried working, barely worked. <coughs> Excuse me. Today's the first day I've worked an entire day in two and a half weeks, or two weeks. It's been that bad. Uh, and I've been miserable. And I'm not even supposed to be working. I'm not even supposed to be out of bed, but who could afford to not go to work? Not me. But I've taken a few pictures here and there, and I want to kind of share them with you. Uh, or I think I'll add them because it'll be easier. Uh, I got to look at the pictures. Remember, I, I've drank a bunch of wine, generic Boone's wine. I love the Orange Hurricane. Awesome. Um, this you might be able to just see. That was my blood sugar one day. You can see that 5:37. Oh, here was another day. Not good, I've been sick. I can't keep my blood sugar under control. 784! If you can't see that, I might just upload the pictures anyway. What else I got here? Oh yeah, I saw this at the store to get some uh, cold stuff and uh, prescriptions. And they have this whole rack done up with the face mask and gloves and Lysol and alcohol. And it even says, got the flu? Take necessary steps to prevent it because of the swine flu back, you know. Yeah. And they got disposable ear loop mask. Oh, that's a perverted picture. Oh, let's that one. Okay, this is a cool picture. There was this picture. I'll have to put this in. If I don't put this in there, this is this whole part of the blog is making no sense. But it's I, me and Josie went to Goodwill because she wanted to look around. So I went with her. And they had this hospital cart like thing. But whoever did it can't spell worth a damn. They spelled it hospital. Hospital. So, yeah, funny. So, and then there's an A-track cartridge. It's funny. It looks like an A-track cartridge, but uh, it's got. It's a, Josie had never seen an A-track tape in her life, and they got they got them there brand new. Anyway, this is a Barry Manilow one, and I, you have to see the picture. But it's him sitting at a piano. But for some reason, when you look at it, it kind of looks like him standing back, leaning way back and peeing a stream into a toilet. Yeah, I don't get it. And then Josie found the coolest book in the entire world. She loves this book. It's called Daddy Doesn't Live Here Anymore. You have to see the picture, because the dad's like, bye! And the mom's like, see ya, I'm glad you're gone! And the dog's sitting there going, well, what the hell's going on? And then the little girl's all sad, hugging her mom. Yeah, sad. Oh yeah, and then some bird shit on my window. And then there's the pictures of uh, me hauling Josie's chair that she bought. She was so excited about that. I don't know! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Here she is. And I, I didn't have nothing to tie it in my trunk. So I had a Domino's apron that I had. I don't even know why I got a Domino's apron. So I used it to tie her, her thing in, in the thing. And the, it's funny because the whole time it's like going like this. It almost fell out of my car a few times. It's awesome. I took a picture of this because this well, didn't come through very well, but you can get it. There's the thing here. I went to see. I was at CVS, 
and they have this sign, buy four, 12 packs, and you get one free, but the regular price is like five seventy nine. Who pays five seventy nine for a twelve pack of Coke? Wow. And then that's another thing. I, mean, I just thought it was really dis disturbing. I don't know. I find perverse stuff in everything. It's a picture of a toy. This little handheld thing, and it's called the Water Snake. And I don't know. It just looks perverted to me. And it even says choking hazard. I thought that was funny. But I'm easily amused, so, yeah, whatever. Uh, what else I got here? We got a bunch of things in here, funny little sayings from this guy puts up on his signs. And then there's a sign of this little kid. They got a fork stuck to his nose. A uh, picture I drew and my plate. <coughs> so, uh, I've not really been on MySpace and Facebook a whole lot. I've been on Twitter a lot because it's easy. I can do it from my phone. I can lay in bed and do it. You know, watch TV, play on Twitter. I really like Twitter. So, if you really want to talk to me or do whatever, uh, the best way to do it is Twitter. It's Jeffrey twitter.com slash Jeffrey C. Jordan. J-E-F-F-E-R-Y, man. Don't get that part wrong. Uh, I love it. I talk to a lot of cool people on there. Some of my favorite people to talk to on Twitter has been, uh, uh, of course, all the James Otto people because they're just a cool, knit, a close-knit group of people. So they're all awesome. And then there's Sarah. Uh, she's on MySpace and Facebook. I talk to her all the time. She's really pretty hot. And, and we do. I joke around with her all the time about it. So that that's fun. Uh, she's she's a good person, a really good mom. She's got a bunch of kids, but she looks like she's never even had a kid. I don't know how some people can do that. But yeah. And then there's uh, there's a guy named Jerry. He goes by Jimmy the Retard. So he's a funny guy. He's funny. And then of course there's a uh, uh, Jen, who's a huge Red Sox fan. And I think I've learned more about baseball than I've ever learned in my entire life from her. And I know she's into some dude named AJ. She thinks she's like a great player. I don't know. I've never even seen a Red Sox baseball game. I've actually never watched a baseball game on TV in my entire life. And I've never even been to a baseball game. I finally went to my brother's softball game the other day. It was last Monday. I went and watched him play softball. That was actually fun, but it's nothing like baseball. And then uh, one of my favorite people to talk to is actually a young lady named Shannon. She's just funny, and she's actually on Twitter, and I like people who talk back, you know. Obviously, it works better when people communicate, and she she, she responds a lot, so that's always fun. Uh, of course, I like, uh, I like, I like Katy Perry. She's funny on Twitter. She, she has weird things to say, and John Mayer is awesome on Twitter. That dude is funny. I'm John Mayer is funny. Anyway, that's enough about Twitter. I'm a Twitter whore. They got Twitter whore t-shirts. They just don't come in size Toyota. Um, hey, let's do some fat jokes. Uh, man, I'm so fat. My tag on my shirt says to be continued under the size. Uh, I don't know. That's all I got. So fat joke. There you got it. Uh, on my shirt tag and for size, it says, holy shit. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I got surgery coming up this Tuesday. A little bit nervous, but I'm not, I'm not scared to die or nothing, you know, I'm really not, I just, I don't want to, but I'm more scared of coming out and, like, not having control over an arm or a leg or something, because they are going to be messing around close to my spine and stuff, you know, I mean, I don't want to come out and have, uh, one of my three legs not working, that's not cool, uh, let's see, I don't want my arm to not work, or one of my eyes be twitching and looking over here while I'm looking this way. That ain't cool. Uh, people suck today at work. They didn't tip very well. Jackassholes. So anyway, I'm going to go in. I'm beat. This is the best you're going to get from me because I'm beat. So, bye.